What's up guys? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. In light of the up and coming Super Bowl Sunday, for those of you that watch American football, I got a little V1 cut tip for you that brings football into the mix. Okay, but for now, we got a new toy in the studio, which is this handy dandy whiteboard that I'm standing in front of or inside of or beside whatever I'm doing. So here's the deal, all right, the V1 cut. Here's your runway. And primarily what we're trying to do uh, early on in the V1 cut is parallel the center line so we can smoothly rotate off and ensure here's what we're getting to, that we do not exceed five degrees left and right deviation on your heading. So if this was my aircraft here and we're departing runway uh, four right in Kennedy that has a runway heading of zero, four, four, five degrees left, right deviation would put me to as far left as zero, three, nine or zero, four, nine on the opposite direction. I really don't want to go outside of this. And what's going to help you if you kind of mentally imagine at the end of the runway, you have a goal post that looks like this. And these two posts are the imaginary points that we need to stay in between to ensure we do not exceed these tolerances, all right? They're moving me around the screen here. Oh, now they're moving the screen, but I'm moving on the screen. Oh, can we get a sound effect? Throw me a sound effect. Woo! Bing bong. We <laughs> stay inside the goalpost. Now, you may be asking, how do you stay inside the goalpost, folks? Well, the primary thing to do is parallel the center line. And if you, now, by the way, when I say parallel the center line, I also don't mean fall asleep on the runway, because I know there's gonna be some people down in the comments. Go ahead and leave all your comments and your critiques and your kind and all the, we love it all, brother and sister. Put it down below how we're gonna cut into the second segment climb. That's only if you fall asleep on the runway, folks. I'm saying don't take a Z quill on the runway, okay? So do yourself a favor and you still wanna rotate in a timely fashion, but primarily I wanna be in control as I'm rotating off, so that as I get airborne, I'm transitioning into most importantly a wing wings level state. Being wings level is what's going to ensure that you're not rolling off very aggressively or at the very least staying inside of tolerances. We certainly don't want to go outside of tolerances, right? So hope this tip helps you. By the way, there's plenty more video tips that talk about single engine operation and most importantly, there's a complete online ground school where we talk about it with a whiteboard briefing and also we go into the sim and we do a maneuver demonstration where I actually fly the V1 cut and narrate the whole thing, talk you through it while I'm doing it, all right? Of course, you know where to find that, onestepprep.com and also, also, by the way, onestepprepacademy.com, that's the 142 school for those of you looking to acquire an FAA ATP 7.3 type rating or some other types that we have in the pipeline, as well as some other projects that we're about to roll out. So stick with us here, new content in the new year. Juan and Joe, you guys know the name, your friends and training program success. We will see you in another video.